Hi everyone. Today I wanted to share with you how I made this bracelet which I showed you on Sunday. The method of making this is called tatting. And uh, there are two ways in which mostly uh, people make uh, people do tatting. One is by using a tatting shuttle which looks like this. So uh, if you see a closer look it has a small hook in front of it and uh, it has a bobbin inside it this bobbin in this bobbin we can uh, uh, roll up all the thread that we use for the tatting so this is how the bobbin is you can remove the bobbin from this case uh, so uh, actually this is a very good method of doing tatting because the uh, finesse with uh, this using this tool is very good because there is no gap, the only uh, tension, the tension is very good using this uh, tool. Uh, I could not uh, do uh, using a tatting shuttle because I did not learn all the techniques using a tatting shuttle. The other method that people use to make tatting is a tatting needle. So tatting needle is a really long needle which has a hole in the end. But uh, I did not have a tatting needle so I uh, used a very simple sewing needle which looks like this. So this is a regular sewing needle. It has a sharp edge. Uh, you can also use a tapestry needle which does not have a sharp edge and that will also work. So I just uh, threaded this and did the tatting with this. I am going to show you now how I did the uh, tatting. I am using a crochet thread. I think this was an 8mm uh, crochet thread. This was from Red, uh, Red Heart Yarns. And I am using my regular sewing needle which is a little bigger. So that is uh, the size of it. Now I am going to thread it. And I am going to leave a long tail. Around this much tail. Now this is the end uh, which is connected to the yarn and this is the end which has a loose end. So I'm going to use this end which is connected to the ball. I am trying to make a double stitch right now. This is one part of the double stitch. Bring that close to the first knot. These two together is called a double stitch. And the whole of tatting is made of these double stitches. So this is all uh, that has to be learned. Just observe how I am doing it. The first half of the double stitch has to be done like this. That's the first half. And the second half has to be done like that. first half second half so I'm going to do four double stitches for my pattern those are four double stitches now I'm going to make a peacock for making a picot, I have to again make the first half of the double stitch. But this time, instead of pulling this loop closer to this, I have to leave gap. And then I will complete the second half of the double stitch. And now pull it closer. And this is the picot. This loose uh, end. Now I'll continue by making the four uh, double stitches. This was my second double stitch. This 
that was the third one that's the fourth now I have to make another peacock so again when I'm making the double stitch I leave that much gap and I will do the second half of the double stitch and pull it closer and then I will complete by making three more double stitches you have to be a little careful with this needle because it's sharp and you can poke yourself it's best to use a tatting shuttle or tatting needle and um, I have ordered it and it's going to come this Wednesday I guess I got it from Walmart so that is the those are the four double stitches I have to do one more peacock it's important to have the same kind of gap every time so that your peacock looks uniform those are the four I want to make a, a circle out of it so what I'm going to do is I'm just making this a little loose and now I'm going to just pull this thread out of this but don't pull this whole thing or just put your finger around this so that it doesn't come off because I have to actually join it to that end so that it becomes a circle so I pulled the whole thread I actually had this uh, this end was longer that's why I had to do like that so uh, now what I'm going to do is in this loop I'm going to insert this needle and then uh, I'm going to pull it closer Pull it tight and that's your first uh, circle this is what I have made I have made the first circle now you can continue making this is a chain this is not a circle I'll show you how to make a chain now so this the direction of these picots is upwards but when I make this kind of a chain now I have to make this chain and the direction of the uh, double stitches is pointing downwards so what I'm going to do is I'm going to so this is the front side and for my peacocks to point down I will just turn it like this put my needle here just close to this point from where the needle from the ball is coming I mean the yarn from the ball is coming and then I'm going to put it here close to that and start my double stitches I'll make the first double stitch as close as possible to the chain uh, to the yarn I'm going to fi make five double stitches for the chain So those are the five double stitches. Now I need to make a peacock. Another five double stitches. So those are another five. Now this time since I'm making a chain and not a circle like this I don't have to hold this in my finger I can let it go all the way up so I'm just going to pull this 
all the way up and I'm going to pull it a bit tight and if I'm going to turn it so when I turned it you can see all my double stitches are pointing down now at this point I have to make the next circle so I'm going to start again at this point so what I'm going to do is I'm going to this is the yarn from the ball and this is the yarn from the sewing needle I'm going to put my uh, needle very close to the this yarn and this time uh, my uh, double stitches will start uh, form this way because they have to point this side so I'll make four double stitches So that's the first one which is closest so after making four I did a peacot here but this time I have to join it to this uh, circle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my First I'm going to put the yarn behind and then insert my needle into this peacot which is already coming like this and put it through and now I'll make four more double stitches. Just in the regular way. So I didn't do any peacot. The, this peacot is being shared by this ring and the next ring which I'm making right now. So those are the four double four double stitches. Now I'll continue making the same thing. This picot, then four double stitches, another picot, and four double stitches. Then I'll make this chain. So that's how we do. I'm no expert in this, but this is how I did this bracelet. actually ordered a tatting needle now I initially thought that since tatting shuttle is the better method so I should uh, use that but uh, I could not learn all the techniques easily I think it will take more practice uh, but uh, I could not wait I want to do more tatting so I ordered tatting needles from Walmart and they are going to come in a couple of days uh, thank you so much for watching